All right, welcome back. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna step up to. I'm gonna learn. You guys are gonna learn how to put Polytech on. It's it's pretty much I believe gonna be the same as working with just the regular with the the nitrocellulose dope. Um, it's just a different a, just it's a different way to do it. Um, I mean they actually call it a cement. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna assume that that's what it is. So let me get everything set up down here. And I'll show you the initial prep on what we're going to do. And I'll turn it into a little speedy up video. And I hope you can see well, because with the sun I can't see back at my little video display. Alright, here's a little test piece. And what I ended up doing with the test piece is the bottom is balsa. Uh, this side over here is plywood. And then we just got two sides of uh, spruce, just because I want to see how everything is going to work with the different wood types because balsa because it's more absorbent to the uh, um, uh, it's more I'll get it I'll get it it's more absorbent to the nitrate the the uh, the dope um, you end up putting more on it so when um, when I get it covered it's it's still going to have about three more coats of nitrate dope on it just to seal the weave so it'll have one that's going to go on it with no filler. The next one will have filler in it, and then the third one will have filler plus the aluminum paste. And that's what's going to turn the plane silver and not allow any light through it. And uh, I'm not worried about the UV protection, but that's what they do in real life. So anyway, uh, this I just have to um, do a quick little sand on it um, just to get the, the remaining fuzzies off. And then once this is done... I'll uh, talk to you the first little bit on how we're going to do it, and then once I get started, you guys get to hear some music. Alright, I'm hoping that I can get this cap off. I got no time for this video prep stuff. Huh, strange. All right. It's really not what I thought it was. It is a cement, so we're going to find out. I honestly thought, I thought this was the red stuff. It, it's, it's not. It's clear. So anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and get this set up. And I don't know if this is going to work under the same principle as, uh, as nitrate or not. And this is not a product placement. So, all right, here's how we do it. Now, when we get to the fabric, got the stuff on my hand. When you have the fabric, what it does, it's, it's, it's in two directions. If, if you're going with the weave, you can pull it and it doesn't, it doesn't stretch. If you go against the weave and you pull it, it stretches. So what you want to do is, is, for the surface that you're doing, for the fuselage or for the wing, you want to have the covering going with the grain of the fabric, not against it. So the way I'm pulling it now and it's taut, that's the way it's going to be stretched along the wing and along the fuselage. Um, so that way, because if you have this, what it's going to do is it's going to give you uneven shrinking. And uh, that's really something you don't want. So, all right, let's go ahead and see how this stuff wants to stick, you know what, because I don't know how this stuff's going to react to my hands. Let me throw some of these on. And hope for the best. Let's see how it works. What I'm actually doing is I'm taking some and I'm pretty much just putting a, a, a bead on one edge. And because it's a tiny little piece, I don't want to drop it on the ground. I'm going to bring it on in and now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of smoothing it with my fingers. So I'm pushing the cement into the weave and I'll actually get up as soon as it 
tacks up enough and then I'll bring it over and show you how well it's tacked in. Wow. Okay. I'm actually pretty impressed because many years of using uh, nitrate dope, this stuff tacks up really quick. I like it. <laughs> All right. We were able to get one side done because it's, uh, it's a short little side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come across and get the other side done, but I'm going to start it in the middle and then pull it out to the sides. So let me, uh, let me just go ahead and I'll get this taken care of and uh, I'll bring you back when it's ready to do a little bit of trimming. Alright, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the iron to heat up. I forgot to bring the iron out because I didn't prep ahead of time. It's what I do. So anyway, so this is all the the adhesive itself is uh is all set up and then what I'll do is I'll shrink it. I'm gonna go ahead and you can see it's loose. So I'll hit it with the iron, I set the iron at about 240 degrees. Come across, hit it, as soon as it tautens up, it's done. Then what I'll do is I'll come in, I'll throw down a couple coats of nitrate dope, and I'll even mix in the silver, or the, the aluminum, so you'll see it. You'll see the three stages of it real quick, because it doesn't take that long to dry. And then once it's all set up, it's just a matter of doing a final trim out on the back side of this, and I'll do that after the first coat sets up. I'll just come in with a razor blade and just slice it off. And then uh, the corners will end up getting sanded down, so if there's any little crinkles in the corners those will be taken care of when you sand it so I will uh, be right back alright let's see if it's hot enough now let's go ahead hopefully you can kind of see the wrinkles I'm just going to come across it lightly it's tautening up you can't see it but I can see it And you can't see it, but it is tight now. So that's just where you want it. You don't want it drum tight. Because um, once once you put the dope on it, it's going to kind of lock the weave in. And uh, that's actually it's actually very nice. You can kind of see my, hopefully see my finger pushing on it. Um, and uh, let's dope it up.
and you don't want to flood it on your first first time you're doing this because it will fall through. I'm kind of offset, aren't I? Yeah, that's better. You're better cameraman. All right, so uh, if you flood it, it you can have it actually come in and cause drips um, and puddle inside the plane and if there's a surface that you don't want it it needs to spend it above a surface if you have a drop of this settled down between uh, the fabric and whatever you don't want it to touch it's going to pull that down to that surface so they end up with a pucker and uh, it's something most people don't want uh, because not only does it look bad but it looks bad Mix up a real small little batch uh, of uh, dope with some thinner in it, with some filler in it, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll dig out the aluminum paste uh, so I can mix to that because it's just got to be a little teeny bit, um, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, now it comes time to put the filler in with the dope. So I've just got a little teeny bit, just a plastic cup, you know, it's, we're just, it's just for a test piece anyway. And it's, you can use, you could use uh, cornstarch or you can use talcum powder. Talcum powder is a little bit lighter than cornstarch. And uh, uh, the stuff that I use is this. You have to use the anti-monkey butt powder. That was a, that was a gag sent to me, uh, after a race, we did a race up in um, Spring Creek, up in Minnesota. It was one of the nationals. And there was some from the sand of the track. And it was a very hot day. And I got so much sand down the crack of my backside that uh, it, it cut me right betwixt the cheeks. And when I hopped in the shower to take a shower, a buddy of mine, Alan, uh, it was his motorhome. He didn't let me know that he threw a whole bunch of uh, bleach into the tank to clean it out because it had a smell to it. So when you have hot water with bleach running down the crack of your butt, you wish you had some anti-monkey butt powder. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get back to work. Enough shenanigans. All right, this because I don't have to put that much in there. I'm just going to throw some in the top. I'll probably put on this one maybe a quarter teaspoon and mix it up because I was stupid enough not to get a little mixing spoon with me and bring it up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir it in there until it's well, uh, it's well mixed. And that's looking pretty good. some filler on here.
All right. We have, I put one coat, the first coat of uh, nitrate dope went on, uh, then I put another coat on, then the third coat and the fourth coat had uh, the uh, talcum powder in it. So it's, I don't know if you'd be able to see it. Uh, the first coat you can see where it hadn't been uh, sealed yet, where the weave wasn't sealed, you can still see through it. This one is looking pretty good just the way it is. So once you can tell, it's you probably can't tell through the camera, but if you were here in real life, you could see it. Um, it's got the drum sound now. All right, so what I did for this, and this is the this is the aluminum paste. I think it's Randolph. Yeah, it's Randolph. All right, um, what I put in, you, if you look inside, there's little teeny little teeny balls of stuff. I grabbed a little teeny one that you might be able to see in there. It's still has it's still kind of wet. I used very little of it. Stirred it in there until the dope came out looking like, here, let me tilt you down so you can see it. So you do the dope so it looks like that. Not the prettiest looking stuff in the world, but it is silver. So I'm going to go ahead and do one up. We'll just do this standing up. I'll do it a little bit closer to you guys. Alright, because my brush decided to start to harden up just from sitting there. Let me loosen up the bristles a little bit. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and put a coat of this stuff on. And it is a little thicker than it needs to be. Let me uh, thin it out and I'll bring it right back. This was just way too thick. This is why you do the test pieces. Alright, let's just let it dry and we'll see how badly it looks when we're done. You might be able to see it keeps most of the sunlight from coming through. If you hold it up to the to the sun, you can see it is coming through. Um, but it was a it was a bad mix. It was a bad. You can see it, it kind of went out a little too thick there. That was when I found out that it was just it was it was it, it was gumming up real quick. So um, you know, hey, it's just a test piece, and this is this is why we have our little practice session to make sure that we don't make the same mistake when we're doing the doing the plane. So uh, now I know when I'm doing the plane, um, this will be thinner than it is. Um, I'd rather have to put two coats of this on real thin. Um, I think it was that, that little dab of uh, aluminum paste I put in was just too big and uh, it just thickened it up too much. So we'll, uh, we'll get this all prepped and then I'll do, a, uh, I'll do a test paint on it and we'll see how it looks when it's done.